Good morning to all of you. <coughs> Welcome to Legal Matters by Sai Babu Sukkar. The government servants, the government officers, they are being administered by the rules CCA. So appeal, civil rules, of, uh, civil rules will be there. CCA, Code of Conduct and Appeal Rules. They have to be framed clearly. There should be the process of inquiry. Before beginning the video, let me give an example. Suppose A is working under B. He has done some mischief. B immediately will slap him, immediately will discharge him, immediately drives him out of the company. It is a private thing. Same thing happens in a government agency. Suppose there is a breweries corporation. Somebody knocks down certain money, breach of trust or uh, misappropriation of funds. Will he be knocked out? No, there is a procedure. They have to follow the procedure. So government, servants particularly, so they have to follow the procedure. If there is no evidence, even though he does some mistake, you have to bear with him. He will be reinstated. This happened in the case of a civil judge also. Judges, they are also not immune. Because they are also from our community. They also studied law along with you. Of course, luck favored him. At that time, his mind had a spark and he has answered the questions at the time of JCZ very intelligently, timely and he got the job. That's all. Same to say, same psychological thing he will, he will be having. Right. Now, Justice Sureshwar Thakur and uh, Sudipti Sharma of uh, Punjab and Haryana High Court. In the case of Sangeet Paul Singh versus State of Punjab and Haryana in CWP, Civil Repetition Number uh, 16658 by 2017 on 2810-2024, held that or ordered the reinstatement of a civil judge who was terminated by the department, by the judicial services. Why? Because there is no evidence on record. He is a reinstated as a civil judge. Right. Why he was dismissed from services? Because of the ACRs, adverse reports against him in the Annual Confidential Reports, ACRs. So, Mr. Sangeet Paul Singh, he was appointed as civil judge at Jalandhar on 5-6-1997. So, appointment as, a, so he might have crossed, he might have passed the JCC examinations in the year 1997. And uh, he worked for 10 years or so. Uh, 2008 means uh, maybe 9 years. After 9 years, he has got his promotion as a assistant session judge at Balachur in 2008. He was promoted and posted. Until such time, the ACRs are, of course, satisfactory, average, the grading was given to him. Okay, no problem. Suppose it's highly exemplary, extraordinary, very good, good. These are all for the uh, people in the higher stream, of course, even average is also enough, satisfactory is also enough. But the ACR of 2008-2009, 2008-2009, it has shown certain adverse remarks. It has shown certain adverse remarks against him. The remarks are, Promotion of groupism in the bar, not punctual and not acting as per the procedure and frowning upon the clerks like that. Allegations were there. So therefore, adverse remarks were there. But he was not communicated the so-called adverse remarks. Right. So ultimately, an inquiry was conducted against him. And in the year 2015, he called for the records uh, through RTI. 
then these things say that he is promoting groupism and uh, not acting as per law all other things and some uh, representations uh, some uh, clerk has also given a statement that this man has uh, abused him in very vulgar language very vulgar language actually i know that uh, allegation also but i since uh, the same clerk he said i can't express in my own words and i excuse him because i don't want to repeat those words okay in a department such things do happen like that right so the allegations sir like that he was uh, uh, said dismissed from service but rti says only groupism and not acting as per law so when the inquiry is conducted no evidence to that so the clerks themselves they stated that he used to come to the court at 10:30 am he used to take up the cases by 2 o'clock he goes for the lunch and by 3 pm he once again comes to the bench like that the evidence gathered even the dog uh, group of lawyers they also supported him right but basing on the report of the disciplinary committee high court asked them to impose the major penalty that is dismissal now the matter has come to the supreme court uh, sorry high court high court please remember the imposition of major penalty like dismissal will be excessive when there is no evidence when they conduct the inquiry he said that he cannot uh, mean the words he cannot tell the words he moreover he wanted to excuse him and ultimately they said that we were not abused actually the indecent obscene words uh, i have seen very bad but anyway there is no evidence so and the allegation is that he has imposed heavy fines uh, something about 85000s uh, on particular party has imposed uh, but the problem is uh, there is no clear cut limit for imposing the costs or fines in the crpc it is the discretion of the church justice equity good conscience we can't help basing on the circumstances is imposed 5000 10000 5000 like that ultimately the accrued part is 85000s so the allegations are not substantiated once again he is reinstated by punjab and haryana high court so please remember as an experienced person experienced person with a lot of uh, experience i can tell you that this thing would have happened but evidence is not there so procedure are lapsed even unless there is evidence we can't do anything that's why i have been saying so many officers continuing despite uh, the so called uh, allegations against them so before framing any charge be sure that it has to hit the nail that's all otherwise waste so with this i am concluding thank you very much